we've finally finished this office. Office number one, as we call it. There's a distinct smell of fresh paint in here. <laughs> um, so it's, the trim's in around the door there. It's come out quite well. The network points are in. Uh, one there and one around here. And then a uh, fresh coat of paint. So the two things yet to be done uh, before I can move in are the window sill, and I'll show you that in a minute, and the floor. So um, these areas are out here, these are yet to be done as well. Um, I've got the top coat on all of the walls and some of the ceilings, but the ceiling in here still requires sanding and top coat. Once that's done um, and the cornices are up, the cornices are all down here, look. So I've moved them in here from the main shed, kept on tripping over them. You can see a little bit of damage there. I tripped over them, not good. Um, but once cornices are up and the painting is done, I can then start on the floor. I'm going to, going to use this wall here as the datum because this wall is pretty straight all the way along there. <coughs> that was all laid in one, in, in one row. Um, so I know it's, it's quite straight, so straight enough. Uh, notch, the, notch it around the, obviously notch around the, uh, the door frame there and the little column there and then lay it all the way down here and down to the front. I might, hmm, I'm thinking of not doing extending the floor underneath the cupboard here, either that or just put some other scrap wood down, the same height as the floor underneath the cupboard because I don't have quite enough to do this whole area. I'm a little bit short. I added up all of the areas and I've got a fraction too little. Um, and what with offcuts and waste, um, I'm gonna run short. So I'm thinking of, of, um, of either not installing the cupboards yet <clears throat> and putting a um, just a false floor in, just a, some other stuff in here same height or as I said or alternatively uh, put the cupboards in first and then do around the cupboards but you won't notice it because it'll be underneath the cupboards but the other thing I've done is um, is the router table over here as you can see it's uh, it's using a, in the same style of, uh, of cupboard type as uh, as I used over there for the <coughs> for the cupboard over there in my little atomic station and in fact the the width of these two drawers I made it two drawer widths two standard drawer widths and I took a, a drawer from over there down the bottom over there you can see and then put it in here and it just fits perfectly because as I said I made it the same dimensions I've got templates that I use for it and uh, <clears throat> what I'm waiting on now is uh, is the is the fence here uh, that Radar Lift is Carpetec unit. Uh, it came in a bundle uh, on special, about three hundred odd dollars off. The three and a half horse router, uh, together with the Radar Lift, and that that went in just like I bought one. Um, it's fairly easy to install. Has a a lock on it with a lift and. A graduated scale on it in um, 0.05 millimeter increments so that's that's rather nice but as I said there's a there's a router fence coming I need that for the um, bits without bearings on it where where a bit has a bearing on it such as this 
you know, bearing the bearing runs against the edge of the wood like that. And the profile goes on it like that. And you use a little registration pin here like this, it goes in there or there. Registration pin and you run it against there and it runs along there and it and the 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 bearing <coughs> registers against the edge of the wood. But if you've got a, a router bit such as this for example, or one of these then uh, you can't use a, um, a bearing, you've got to use a fence and the fence determines how far into the wood that, you, that you're cutting. So yes, so you need the fence for that sort of thing. So I'm wanting for a fence. And this is the material I'm using for the windowsill in the office. Um, cost about $65 for the sheet from Bunnings, which is really good price for, for wood, considering the price of wood and the way it's gone up. Actually, this has gone up about $10 a sheet now. Um, and I'm putting a round over on it, probably um, a three quarter of one inch, 19 or 25 mil, something like that. Um, I'll do, do, a, do a test of, probably on this, of three quarter, see how that goes. And if that looks nice, then I'll come back and I'll use that or maybe a one inch and see how that looks. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, see how we go. But uh, the, um, the actual window sill is here. Now this wood comes pre-jointed. So it comes basically ready to varnish. Probably a, a light sand, maybe 320 light sand would... Uh, but no more than that, and uh, the edges come pre-finished. All the edges come pre-finished and the ends pre-finished. So, so you don't have to do anything to it, you just put it in and it works. So it's great. So, <coughs> so that's what we've been doing for the last few weeks. Steady as she goes, as I say in the classics. Now a couple of other things um, I might mention. Um, you've seen my Tormek previously. Um, the new shaft for it came this week, so it's much better. The old shaft was all rusty and decrepit. So that came, uh, I, had to, I got it from the US in the end. And I got it from for about, oh, about $30, $40 off the odds. But a couple of things I've, I've noted um, the Tormek honing compound here, um, that costs, you don't use much of it, so it lasts quite a while, but that costs $18 a tube, or up to $25 a tube, I, I think I've got on special for $18. But you can buy this stuff from, I bought this from Super Cheap Auto, and that was about the same price, and that was for 350 grams. So, and you can use that as a honing compound, basically. Yeah, uh, the, the, this stuff that I got, uh, you go to the website, and it appears that it is food safe. Yet when I opened this, it had distinct smell of ammonia. So this is not what they say it is on the website, and I found this at. Um, with Bunnings and Super Cheap on multiple occasions where they claim one product on the website but when you go into store it's another product. I, I bought a rat a bit from Bunnings and it was supposed to be 12 mil and it was 12.7. So it was actually a half inch rat a bit even though on the tag and on the package, it was labelled 12 mil. So don't believe everything you read when you buy from Bunnings a super cheap auto. The other thing that I discovered is this stuff here. This is $85 for two bottles, 150 mil. And uh, <laughs> It's quite expensive, and, and you go through it. I mean, I've, I've, I've used half of it already, and half of it I used to fill this up, 
and um, admittedly some of it is already in the water water thing but so 85 for two bottles I don't know whatever it is that that did half a bottle did that so it's about 42 20 just over 20 dollars just to fill that up and as I said I've already used about a third of it already uh, just through wastage so again I went super cheap auto I had to order it in but this stuff here is basically the same stuff I believe the active ingredient in this is pretty much the same it's um, it's coolant um, coolant um, rust inhibitor and it use it in the same concentration and that cost me forget how much it cost me but it cost me less than two than 300 mil of the other and that's five liters so so that's the stuff I'm going to use from now on in there and it's non-poisonous it's the same as this it's non-poisonous so it's the um, it's not the old stuff that you used to put in your radiator which which um, will kill you just by looking at it but uh, but yeah so so I found consumables for the Tormek which will uh, save me a huge amount of money in the long run but yeah it's been going um, brilliantly um, I've uh, I sharpened another four, five knives this morning with it um, four from one of Lisa's friends and uh, uh, knife that Lisa beat up in the meantime since I sharpened them she's beaten it up but you know that's just in reuses that's what happens to knives um, so you expect that but yeah, yeah it's working really well so that's what we've been doing the last few weeks still working hard still um, chipping away at all the tasks getting everything done and in place <laughs>